Good morning. We are about to venture out, but we won't be going here. This is one of the uh, points of the the Bermuda Triangle, and this is Bermuda. Hamilton is the the uh, capital of Bermuda. Now we're going to go back out because it almost disappears. And here's the Bermuda Triangle. You come over here to Miami. It is, uh, it's an equilateral triangle. As far as I can tell, it's uh, not quite a, quite a right angle because down here is Cuba. But it might be an equal, equilateral. I never measured it. But I do know it's a thousand nautical miles from San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is... Uh, a, one of the corners and then Miami is one of the corners and that's that's a thousand a thousand thirty three nautical miles I'm looking at it on my my Apple Mac and uh, so from San Juan to here and then out to Bermuda just a little speck that I showed you and back down here and this is this famous Bermuda Triangle where kind of crazy things ship ships have gone missing of course it's a kind of a hur hurricane alley out out through here and uh, ships get caught in that kind of stuff and they can go missing but uh, squadrons of aircraft uh, in World War II went missing single engine and there was a single group of four or six single engine airplanes they never heard of again that went missing in there and I've flown flown back and forth in the Comanche here, a 1966 Comanche B. It uh, gets along about 180 miles an hour, 260 horsepower. It can carry six people, but if you got six people in there, you better not have any baggage, and maybe you should uh, not fill it up to the, to the tippy top with uh, its capacity is 90 gallons and the four tanks on board a Comanche. So I flew, flew down back in 1967 is when I flew, flew down here when I was building my time to get on the airlines. That never happened. Sometime you'll hear that story. But today we're going to fly in the Dark Star. You see it up here in the upper left-hand corner. And uh, we have to go in here and I thought I'd point that out before I get in here and get all the designations on, on uh, the, the, uh, the airplanes. Um, we'll take off on one of these runways. We landed on runway 28. Let's go ahead and take off on runway 28. Let's see here, runway 28. Click on that. That's point of departure. And then we go back out to get to, over to Miami and going over to Miami you got Haiti you got Haiti and uh, Dominican Republic that's Jamaica that's Cuba uh, this is Turks Caicos Islands and that's where we stopped to refuel on the way down from Miami had a had a sandwich there that's another story and uh, then then going going in here we'll get Miami up there's Miami International. That's our arrival. And there we go, uh, 909 nautical miles. So my Apple is either using statute miles. Yeah, it just says miles. It doesn't say nautical. So, so it's 1,033 statute miles or 909 nautical miles. It took uh, five hours in the Comanche. It's going to take 13 minutes in the uh, Dark Star. It'll probably take a little bit more than that. Anyway, I love uh, I love flying along here. Here's the Bahamas and then Nassau. My dad used to go over there for meetings, conventions, and these other little islands. I can't re can't remember, but it is absolutely beautiful with the turquoise. Uh, Blue waters, turquoise green, or whatever you like to call it. And that's that's the, that's the that's the uh, that's the story. I'm going to stick with it. There you go. And that's about uh, two 
270, 80, 90, 300, about three, 300 degrees. We'll see what it is. Fly. And that's a uh, Cessna. Cessna Grand Caravan, it says up here on the tail. I don't know whether they use the, the Grand Car Caravan uh, for FedEx, but they have the big, uh, the big turboprop. I can't, I can't see if it's got the, the turboprop or a reciprocating engine on it. San Juan Tower Experimental Fife 27 okay. Bravo Charlie ready at runway 28 west departure. And so here you see our heading, there's 300. 27 Bravo Charlie, altimeter 2 nine three. decimal 9 or 2, wind calm departure to the west approved. So it's Clear three. For takeoff runway 28. It's 315 degrees is our Clear heading. For takeoff runway we go ahead and click this. Now we're heading 280, which is the heading of the runway. And we'll make a slight right turn for the uh, 310, 350, through about 314 is going to do it. And we'll bring this down to kick in our afterburners. And we'll take the brakes off and go up to full power kick in the afterburners and go back outside there we go taking off right into the sun experimental 7 bravo charlie continue for west departure experimental 7 bravo charlie leaving my airspace frequency change approved and we'll get the wheels up and say goodbye. And we'll see, get to see the Ford again. The Ford has been, uh, the Ford has been handcrafted. And I don't know what else has been handcrafted. And we'll just go straight out right now. I'm not, I'm not seeing, seeing the fort yet. Experimental 7, Bravo Charlie, did you copy? Yeah, I sure did. Here we go. San Juan Tower Experimental 5, 27 Bravo Charlie, frequency change. So, the fort is out of sight, but maybe right, right down in there. Possibly I've, uh, I've just missed it. Yeah, here, here it's coming up now. Here it's coming up right now. Good. And we're on course. We're 22,000 feet. We got to turn the uh, yeah the fort the fort's right there. You you'll see some YouTubes about the fort, and uh, we can uh, turn this off. We're just about on course. We'll go back here. And we'll go, go inside. That's what we want to do. Got to get in here. And turn on Scramjet on standby. And we got to get the nose up. Starting to see the Dominican Republic out here. The end of uh, Puerto Rico is just to the left. We'll take one look back there. Let's go look outside. There's, there's, uh, there we see uh, Puerto Rico. The nose is dropping on me again. Let's move the sun. We don't have to have the sun in our eyes too early in the day. That should be good right there. And go back inside. I think that's uh, Dominican Republic. Yep. Dominican Republic and Haiti. 
And if we stay on course, we'll go right over Turks Caicos Island. So we'll look out to the right, uh, the big uh, expanse. Everything to the right is inside the the Bermuda Triangle, the famous Bermuda Triangle. Okay, now we'll start start seeing seeing the uh, scramjet light up. And you can you can watch right here uh, with these two engines there. I heard it go. There we go. And now you can see the color changes as it as, it, as the scramjets come into uh, light up, come into play, and then the uh, turbines uh, shut down. So we just got running on scramjets. And now we'll go back inside to see we need to need to get the get the nose up. Or we're gonna start bouncing around in the in the thick air. Watch watch our rate of climb. Just go over thirty thousand feet a minute. Fifty thousand, so we need about a minute to get up to uh, 100,000 feet. 58, 59, 60,000. Mach 6.29. 65,000. Yeah, it likes to get into the thin air to go faster. Now we're picking up speed. 76,000, Mach 7, okay, now we can put the nose, start putting the nose down, because we're at 90,000, so we'll hover around 100,000, we've got 740 miles to go, 98,000 99,000 Mach 9.77 7. 100,000 Okay, let's look around That that could be uh, Cuba there. And we need to move the sun a little bit. Ah, oh, we're not going to stay looking there. I think that's Cuba, Cuba, and. Uh, Yeah, look at these blue blue green waters. I gotta watch my altitude and watch my heading. So we coming up on Turks uh, Turks Caicos. This could be South Caicos out here or right down here. I forget forget which. But look at look at these beautiful beautiful blue green waters. 
Yeah, there's Turks Caicos. Possibly this was South Caicos right over here. Where the little airport was right down there. And then the next little island. Abrams Bay, Pirate Well, right at, right in here. Yeah, I uh, just uh, just enjoy. Let's see, we if I if I start looking at my maps, I I, I lose my uh, altitude. The nose drops. And our speed drops. And we get off course. <laughs> Not a big deal at these speeds. But as you saw when I went out of uh, when I went out of uh, Panama down to to Lima, Peru. I got, there we go, that'll get us back on course. And we have a little bit of the, uh, the great circle route that the, that the route, the, the route changes ever so slightly. 84,000, that's not quite enough, so we can get the nose back up slightly high. Got 400, 400 miles to go. So we're moving out pretty good, but we lost we lost a little speed uh, dropping down. Okay, let's get back outside and enjoy the enjoy the the view. The the, the blue green. Look at the moon just going down over there. back up to 90 yeah we're, we're moving back up to 100 and as we get up there we get our, our higher speeds so we'll we'll go with the with the lights out uh, as we approach Miami to show you how much uh, how much the uh, at, at the dark of night the the, uh, the ambient light you can see see it far away before you actually see the the lights you see a glow even though you can't see the lights on this it might not it might not quite show okay and then I think, yeah, all these all these little little Caribbean islands are just absolutely gorgeous. And the blue green waters. There yeah, we're at 99. Back up 9.7. Now, as we get back going course, we're going to see NASA come up over over on the left. Andros Island, I remember that name. So we can just kind of head at the moon, moon over Miami, huh? Yeah, 104,000. And 
let's see how far we got. 130 miles. We got to start shutting down. <laughs> it almost looks like like it could be it could be Miami there, but let's see if it's an island. Uh, I think that's Miami. Okay, we can we can see that with the with the light. And let's let's just look if I'm a hundred, yeah, eighty miles, so I can shut down the uh, the, uh, the scramjet. Sixty miles. So we bring the power back. We can just coast in. So we went over the Bahamas. And we'll just go with the light here real quick. Now we're not going to do that. We'll just watch for Miami here. See if we spot the airport. And let's see, we're at 80. And uh, bring out the... This could be the airport right right there. And we're a little bit off to the we're a little bit off to the left, so here it comes right now. So we'll see it when we go by. See it's coming right out. It's about ten ten miles away. Yeah, that that is. That's Miami. Miami International right under us. There's Miami Beach. Miami Beach right out here We're right over the airport down to 60,000 we'll call in right overhead and see what uh, what they say about landing this one I know is MIA I believe yeah MIA right overhead Tower 123.9, full stop landing. Miami Tower Experimental Flight 27 Bravo Charlie is four miles west flight level 550 with Sierra to land. Experimental Flight 27 Bravo Charlie Miami Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal niner, two wind calm enter, left downwind runway 27. Left downwind for 27, okay. So let's see what we're heading right now. Uh, so 27 is around over this way. And then we'll just look back and, and then we'll parallel that runway. There's 27. Right there. Now we'll look back. Experimental 7 Bravo Charlie, did you copy? Oh yeah. Downwind runway 27 experimental 7 Bravo Charlie. Can't quite see it, but we want to head back at 090. Take the speed brakes off. Coming around to 270. Excuse me, 090. Okay, I see the airport right there, so we want to be going right down, right down this road right here. And let's see if that was 27 left or 27 right. Just runway 27. It's probably right right here.
And then they'll call us. They'll call us uh, when we're right, right, uh, ready to turn base here. Look at the tall buildings. Now this has been handcrafted out here. The tall buildings downtown Miami. Okay, put the wheels down. Miami and Miami Beach. I don't know about Coral Gables, all of that stuff, and then going on south to the Keys. I haven't, haven't looked at that. But here's the airport and a, a runway. I, I, it's going to land on the, on the left edge of the runway. They'll call us any time now. There we go. We need to acknowledge that. Well, we don't need to because Clear it's to land runway 27 experimental 7 Bravo Charlie. Alright. Take a little power off to come down. They won't be talking to us again until they're going to tell us to pull off. Now these could be runways 27 over here, but they just said 27, not 28 left and right. So 27 is by itself. So I'm going with this. It's 27. We're, we're slow. Need to get this back up into the green. There we go. I seem to. I think around 200 is pretty good. That was a little better. A little right rudder here. They're not screaming at me. I didn't. I <laughs> I didn't take a take a minute to look at the number. There we go. And they'll tell us to go to ground. Experimental 7 Bravo Charlie, contact ground on 121.8. 121.8, one Experimental 7 Bravo Charlie.
Miami Ground Experimental 527 Bravo Charlie request taxi to parking. Experimental 527 Bravo Charlie taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Sierra Sierra 1 Tango Sierra 3 Sierra Yankee cross runway 3 0 Yankee Yankee 1 Whiskey 1 2. Well, we're not going to do all that. So we're just going to go in right over here. We'll park under the tower. Experimental 7, Bravo Charlie, did you copy? Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway 75 Sierra 1 Tango Sierra 3 Sierra Yankee Cross Runway 3 Zero Yankee Yankee 1 Whiskey 1 2 Experimental 7 Bravo Charlie. It's called a big airport. Here we be, Miami International. I tell people that when we, we flew back from San Juan, and this is really not something to brag about, this is actually uh, pretty stupid, that we didn't want to go through customs. If we landed in NASA and refuel, we'd have to go through customs there, and then we'd have to go through customs again. Look at there's another tower tower over here. So we get two towers at Miami, probably uh, one for each. Uh, you know, they got two runways on one side, and then the one we landed on. Let me uh, turn turn this off. So we refueled when we went went down to San Juan at South Caicos Island. This is the Comanche, carrying 90 90. 90 gallons of uh, fuel. So coming back, we landed, and I never asked, uh, but uh, I know the, the tanks were all, all approaching empty when we landed in Miami. And uh, I, I joked about it at the time, but it's no joke. Uh, to, to be joking about being so low on fuel, you're trying to be funny. It's not funny, uh, but I'd say, uh, I'd tell people that we landed with five gallons on board, which is too little, uh, 90 get, you should have probably 5% uh, for an alternate uh, airport if you, if you couldn't make it uh, into Miami for some reason, for weather or whatever. They could close down the airport, they could have an accident or something. So you always have to uh, plan for for an alternate, and uh, if we landed with five gallons, but it, then I, then I tried to be funny. I'm always trying to be funny. I said that uh, we landed with five gallons on board, and three of them were run, rum. And uh, as as a lot of people know, if you come uh, from out of the out of the country, coming into Mexico or coming out of the the uh, Caribbean from the Bahamas. You're entitled to bring one gallon of, of uh, booze, alcohol, one gallon, uh, duty-free. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite a saving. I can't remember how much because I used to give, give my, my chit to whoever I was with. I, I didn't, uh, while I drank, I didn't, uh, I didn't need a gallon of whatever it was around so I always always gave up my my uh, my chit so that's uh, that's supposed to be funny it's not anyway we're here and uh, now we get to fly again uh, in in uh, in this situation we we fly with uh, let me let me find here's here's the weight and balance so this has the fuel on it so I check off on the uh, on the game that it doesn't uh, uh, 
use use uh, the fuel. The fuel always stays at these levels. I could pre-select that, but I I don't I don't worry about fuel. And if you're if you're flying real airplanes, you have to worry about fuel on every flight. You have to have enough fuel to go to an alternate. And uh, that's uh, that's the way it works. It's just safe safe uh, flying. So I never ran an aircraft out of fuel, but that was probably the closest, and that was probably the stupidest thing I ever did. Okay, now uh, back to the happy days. We had fun in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We're back to the U.S. and uh, uh, touring South America. Uh, there was uh, there was good, and there was not so good. But uh, I learned more about South America by by flying around. Thanks for riding along. Uh, uh, we just say goodbye now. We're back in the U.S. Bye.